I'm not usually in the habit of buying cheap power tools, especially chainsaws. Walmart had this one for like $129. Uh, and some of you know, if you watch my other videos, I don't know if the other videos are before this one or be after this one, but anyway, I've just bought uh, a little over half acre and it's wooded. It needs some cleared off and a lot of it is has been cut probably 20 years ago something there's a lot of little saplings in there and I don't want to you know take a expensive saw in there cutting you know because you got to get the stops down and so this one this one it will be in the dirt from time to time um, it's just going to happen I know it will um, cleared land before so I didn't want to put out you know three four hundred bucks on something that's gonna I'm gonna run so 130 I'll go that so um, there wasn't really a lot of reviews so um, we're gonna take a look at this this is the unboxing and first firing so let's see what the black max 16 inch saw from uh, Walmart is all about uh, first off the box says it's anti-vibe uh, I was gonna Try these in Walmart, you know, just pick it up. Look, they've got them zip tied to the hanger. There's no way you can pick them up. I started just to pop that zip tie off. You know, it irritates me. They they want you to buy their product. They they, they make it where you can't, you know, handle it. So uh, now the other saw I was looking at was Echoes. I like those steels. To me, the quality of steels went way downhill here with the MS series, but. Um, the their smallest is a MS 170 and it's only a 30 cc this one's 38 cc so for 16 inch it should have lots of power uh, help your train and remember to buy black max oil sorry don't buy black max oil the impression so I don't even know where you would get black max oil so uh, oh they send you a bottle of oil here's the instructions this is, and it also comes owner's manual, all that good stuff, I imagine. Yep. I don't know if y'all can see this. I hope you can. Uh, operator's manual. I would, even if you're a seasoned saw owner, I, I'd suggest you read it. Uh, just browse through it, because sometimes these saws are a little bit different. Uh, that's just something about California and, and federal emissions control warranty statement. Yeah. I'm not in California. Okay, we've got the little screwdriver, chainsaw tool, bolts probably to, more than likely to uh, adjust this chain. Okay, it comes with ethanol shield, two cycle oil with fuel stabilizer. Premium, premium. One gallon. Uh, I use the steel ultra synthetic, and I'm guessing that most chainsaws do and power tools do take the 50 to one. I'll double check that before I put oil and gas in here. Pull the rest of this stuff out. See what we got. Yep, 50 to one. Comes with a nifty. Okay, we're done with a box. Let's see if there's any more features on here. Okay, 38 cc engine. Okay. Well, isn't that just Jim Dandy? Ah, oh, I hate these tip guard uh, tips on the guard. Good looking saw. Good looking saw. Kind of heavy for a 16 inch. You know, probably probably a little heavier than the MS-170. But then again, it's a bigger engine than MS-170. Okay, so 38cc, lightweight and smooth operation. Mm, that's debatable. Anti-vibe system for increased user comfort. Automatic oiler extends bar and chain life. I wish it was a manual oiler. Uh, chain brake and tip guard for safer operation. Yeah, okay, 
side axis chain tensity for easy adjustment. Now that's okay. Looks like right here. I may have it out of frame. Um, I'm trying to see. I didn't bring my glasses. What? Oh, apparently this tells you how the chain should look when it's on there. So some of y'all won't put it on backwards. So anyway, lid tag here says to use 50 to one. Glasses. Okay, 50 to 1, mix gasoline oil properly, then add to fuel tank. Well, that'd be a good place to add it. Uh, add bar and chain lubricant to the oil tank. Another good place for the oil, the oil tank. Release the chain brake before starting. Check chain tension every five minutes, like you're going to do that when you're in cutting wood. Okay, and if you want it in Spanish, it's I think that's Spanish on the other side. So I like the location of the oil and gas tanks right here. Reminds me of my old um, steel 042 farm boss where oil tank and gas tank were just right here, you know, in the middle ones. They were kind of up here. Um I have no idea what that is. Don't have my glasses to that yet, but I guarantee you. And this is what guys do. They never look at the instructions. I will before. Here's your priming bulb. I bet that's a choke. Yep. That's a choke. Kill switch right here. Yep. Stop. It's a it's got some heft to it. I mean this is not no lightweight saw. Um no matter what they say. So a little spring right here. I'm gonna guess this is part of the anti vibe right here. Okay, I don't have no gas mixed up yet. So let me go do that and we will get back to this saw. A couple other things. Um it after reading the uh owner's manual, it does say to use synthetic oil in your gas. Uh, so that's good to hear because um, I, years ago I switched over to the steel um, synthetic two cycle and uh, oil in my gas and I've loved it so a couple other things you need to know about right here oh, there you go you see that right there is how you're going to adjust your idle um, once you start it if it's idling and your chain's running, you're going, you're going to want to slow your idle down. Uh, if it's barely staying idling and dying and stuff, you'll want to turn your idle up. And you'll just use the screwdriver end of your chainsaw tool to do that. Um, if you're running out of oil before you run out of gas in your tank, that is not good. You should have a little oil left in your tank when you run out of gas um, otherwise you're going to burn your bar and chain up here's adjustment right here see this little half moon out there's adjustment for your oiler uh, the instructions will tell you how to adjust I think you turn it clockwise to for more or something like that um, go ahead and read the instructions because I don't remember right now obviously your muffler now uh, this is a kill switch right here. Here's your bulb. We went over that. And this is the latch for the cover. Pretty, pretty stout uh, little latch. Here's your air filter, spark plug, carburetors under here, and like I showed you the adjustment a while ago. Um, you also have your lean and rich adjustments for your carburetor on this side right by the pull cord and uh, your choke this goes on and off for easy I'm glad the latch is a little um, tough to get on uh, unlatch because you don't want that thing coming off while you're using it now it doesn't want to see them go back on it is made in China big surprise there so anyway why am I struggling with this? No, that's not going to do it. 
Of course, I get on camera and I'm struggling with the cover. I opened it once. I had no trouble with it. Well, now. Maybe that's why it's so hard to get on and off. There we go. <laughs> Just got got to go straight in to try and come in from top. So basically, that's it. Your your um, saw. I did take the uh, guard off right here. Do that at your own risk. It does have uh, grease on it, but you do have grease points for your your sprocket here. Um, this is a low profile chain. It is a .050 chain. So, um, let's see if they've got it adjusted. Nope. Yeah, they got it adjusted. Now, to adjust your chain tension, you will take these two bolts loose, or two nuts loose. This is your adjustment right here. You hold up on the tip while you tighten or loosen. And once you get it where you want it, you'll tighten these back down. I'm glad they put grease on that. What would I have done without getting grease on me while doing an unboxing? I haven't started this yet. I did put oil and gas in it. I um, I used the oil that they sent with it. Kind of against my better judgment, but you know. And they do recommend this uh, ethanol shield gas uh, oil in your gas in the manual. Uh, I buy non-ethanol gas. So I'm not that worried about it. Like I said, I typically use steel um, premium synthetic in my gas. So what do you say we see if we can get this thing started? I've never started it. You're seeing it right here for the first time. They recommend the, you know, they don't, they don't tell you not to drop start it. But the little illustration guy has his foot through the starter stirrup here my foot won't hardly go in they say pump the bulb ten times one two three four five six and on six one I just seen some gas come in there seven eight nine ten pull the choke out they said no more than five pulls at three, four, five. Let's choke in. Wow. I am impressed. Oh. oh yeah. The instruction book says don't grab this when it's running. I don't know who would do that, but hey. Apparently sometime, someplace in the past, while the chain was running, somebody reached down and grabbed it. Hey, that is smooth saw. Chains. A little smoke air coming off the new burning the oil off. But the chain did loosen up a little bit. It is all and good. I like to see that. Yes, sir. Just not right now all over me, but hey. Uh, that was really smooth. Um, that anti vibe stuff, the springs there. And on the end of here, there's some springs right there. So far, that looks pretty good, and I don't have nothing but a 
to really cut here. Once I get out to the land, I'll have something to cut. And then we'll do probably a month or three month review after that. I, I cannot, anybody that reviews something right out of the box, like I, unboxing I just did, they'll, they'll, they'll tell you that's a review. That ain't a review, that's an unboxing, okay? We just started it. Doesn't mean squat. Just cause, I mean, I am impressed it started that quick. Um, the recoil is not, starting is not real hard. You can tell it has some good compression, but it's not so hard that you're like, oh, I wish I had electric start on this. So, um, I do like the kill button right there. See if we can drop starting. I don't know how I like it when I start cutting wood, but um, like I said, I bought it to cut little stuff with. It is, uh, the box says 11 pounds, so it's not a lightweight, but it feels like it has the power to do what I need to, so. Unfortunately, my experience with saws like, cheap saws like this, like I had a pooling once, once, once about all, only time you'll own a pooling colon whatever you want to call it <laughs> uh, it hasn't been real great so um, uh, I just don't buy cheap saws this first normally like I say echo or steel is what I buy don't buy huskies I had to you know more than enough of them uh, so but anyway this is going to be probably abused more than normal and guys, that's it. I don't know what else to tell you about that little saw there. Um, we'll see if it's worth 130 bucks. I appreciate you watching. Hey, Donald, one acre homesteader. I'm going to uh, get this chain tensioned. Right, put it up. It's supposed to be really nice and cool tomorrow, so I'll probably go out to the property and, and cut some brush. Thank y'all for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'm out of here.